always getting high, always and forever, party till we die. Always getting crazy, always getting high, always and forever, party till we die. Hello everybody and welcome back to level 2 of the Walking Dead mod by Phobos on Star Wars Battlefront 1. And uh, we're just going to continue on with it and it's the streets of Atlanta. So it says Rick Grimes arrives in the city of Atlanta and meets a civilian named Gwen. Uh, is that Ray? Yeah, Ray. Three more soon appear on the scene. A samurai named Andrea Harrison, a military officer Tyrese Douglas named T-Dog, and a reckless outlaw named... Merle Dixon, yeah, we all like like uh, Dixon, don't we? Uh, Rick's band of survivors is being hunted relentless by an army of undead corpses roaming the streets. A tank has also been discovered, which can be used offensively. Defeat the endless waves of shambling freaks or get eaten alive. Yeah, sounds good to me. Now, I'm going to do a little something interesting here because I did play this before and I got a pretty foolproof strategy. Because when I first played this, I got ripped to pieces, like, barely 50 of them. Okay, let's, let's play as Glenn. Okay, I'll run this way. You only get five, five people, and it starts with 200 of them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the tank here, right? So I'm going to get the tank, as you see. I know it goes moves very slow, but don't worry, it stays right over here by me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this up in here, because it's actually possible you can do it, uh, and block the entranceway for them. So as you can see, I'm blocking the entranceway now, and they, they can't get in, as you can see. The only way they can get in is if they jump. I'm not sure if I should leave it like that. See, like, but don't jump on the back of here. Like, you can go here, but if you jump any farther, you're going to die. I think I'm going to move this up just a tiny bit. Okay, and as you can see, the tank it has three shots for the pilot, three for the left turret. Oh, yeah, three for the left turret, three for the right turret, three for the main gunner, and yeah, I said three for the pilot. So what I usually do is, as you see, we have only five survivors and three of them are already dead. I let them do some of the killing by themselves, and then I just uh, camp in here. It's a fairly simple strategy, but it's a very boring yet yet effective strategy. Many would disagree, but it is. So there's two of us left and there's 183 of them. So as, as you saw, I'm playing as Glenn, and I'm going to say this much. I'm going to, uh, now I'm the only one left. So now you just let them all spawn on the outside, like so. And um, you just let them go around the tank, because they can't get in at all. And I think I'm going to say this later on, but I think there's a back way somewhere in here. Uh, yeah, over there. They don't know that. So that's why I'm doing this, because it's... Somewhat smart, but it's somewhat foolproof. So I'm probably gonna have this like recorded in four or five separate parts. I'm not sure if I'm gonna show you a bunch of the killing or not, though, because I probably should. I probably should just cut out these boring parts. So as you see, they can't. I'm I'm right over here, as you see. They can't hit you at all. You can shoot them if you'd like. Yeah, see, like I killed that guy. But I'm not sure if this works here. Nope, you can't, you can't hit them with this crowbar that Glenn has. He also has a Beretta M9 pistol, that's pretty neat. He has a Remington 1100 tactical shotgun. Is that it? Yeah. So as you see, they're all just crowding out here. I'll, I think I'll just show you that right now. And, um, yeah, see? They're just all crowding out there, just surrounding the tank. Not really doing much effective stuff. And they can't get in at all, so watch. Then you can just shoot them like that. If you'd like. But what you would, what I suggest doing is usually shoot once, maybe twice. And then you want to let them spawn back in over there by you. Because if you don't let them spawn back in, you continue, continue blasting them like I was. Then you're not going to have a very foolproof strategy. Yeah, as you see... 
I would highly suggest though, just letting them spawn back in after one shot. Because then you'll be able to, uh... Have a little bit more luck. So, I'm probably not gonna- I'm probably gonna be cutting out a lot of the boring parts, so... Yeah, so as you see there... It's a pretty foolproof strategy overall. I'm just gonna continue to do that. So I'll stop this uh, first part here and I'll get to the second part very shortly. Okay, so uh, here we are with part three. I think I shot one or two bullets. Didn't really do very effective, but... Anyways, we got ourselves some zombies over here still. Um, oh yeah, we got these interesting posters from... From, uh... I forget where. I'm not sure if they're from other Battlefront 1 mods or not, but I'm pretty sure they're not. Like, I think they might be from that Cantina. Uh, the Corazon Cantina they were in Episode 2. So we got some interesting, uh, things there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the main gunner real quick, and we're gonna blast them. And I'm gonna blast them again. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, this this is some good fun for me. I think I'm gonna use the one more right after they spawn back over here. I mean, like I said, boring strategy, yes. Does it work though? As you see, it's pretty effective. I've got 95 of them now. I still got most of my ammo too. So probably after, after most of my ammo goes, it's gonna, I'm probably gonna miss a lot because shooting right here, it's 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 not very easy as you see. Well, part of it too is because I'm not being smart with my shooting, but I think I'll just show you this right here. Probably not smart, like I said, that I'm wasting all these bullets. Pretty foolproof right here. Oh, he just nearly jumped in, I see. Die. Okay, I got no ammo. So yeah, I think I'm just going to uh, call this part two right here. And hold on a second, let me see if I can shoot another one or not. Okay, I think I'm just gonna shoot one more with the pilot. Yeah, if the numbers get screwed up, it's probably because I accidentally hit something. Or maybe I died, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it at this. Um, uh, I'll be back with uh, part three momentarily. Okay, so here we are. Part four probably gonna be the final part. There's me and 33 more of them. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna end up, to be honest. Well, there were 33, and now there's 22, so that's 19, so that's actually fairly helpful. Okay, my left turret doesn't have anything. And neither does this, it seems. I think he, should I just shoot again? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna shoot again. 
Okay, how many are left? Nine? Do I have no ammo, Nine? Okay, yeah. I have no ammo, correct? Yep. No, no ammo. Yeah, I have no choice, but I actually have to go out there now. I really don't want to, but I have to. Probably not smart that I go this way of all ways. Oh look, we got some more- Oh, there, there was ammo there. Not anymore. How am I missing? That's my only question. Never mind. Got one. Okay, good. Got two more. There's four of them left. Okay, nope. That was definitely hard enough, but... Oh, there we go. It was just a null. Go figure. Okay, now there's three. Ooh. Okay, two more. Good, got them. It looks like we got we finally got victory on that. So um, thank you all for watching this gameplay for the second part of the campaign, uh, and goodbye.